levels involve teaching about uh, technologies, or the whole STEM initiative, really, science, technology, engineering, and math, through the use of thrill rides and roller coasters, because uh, if you look at the whole art form of how roller coasters and thrill rides evolved over the years, it actually involves a lot of interesting engineering feats and just it's like a 200 plus year history in a lot of ways and if you know just a little bit about it because I'm by no means an engineer you know but if you just know a tad bit about it you can really take those principles and put them to work in Little Big Planet in ways that not only are fun because you know the end product's fun but it's we were just talking about over there with some of the other LBP creators that it's such an amazing experiment that you know you work for hours on something like a coaster and then finally to see it work in real you get that moment where it just clicks and you're like oh my god I made this work and that's what I, I want my levels to get from other people is that at first they see these really cool rides and coasters and they wonder how it happened then I take them through break it down step by step and at the end teach them how to do it so they can go off on their own go into create mode and then make something and then get that reaction like oh my god I built this and it's working the reason I think that games like Little Big Planet can be such amazing tools is that you're not just learning something and then regurgitating it. You're learning something like, for instance, uh, you're learning about the history behind like the French wheel design that puts wheels above and below a fixed track, and you're not just learning it so you can see a picture and recognize it. You're learning it so you can take it and then build your own thing that actively uses this knowledge. You know, they call it inductive versus deductive. Learning inductive is where you learn without realizing you're learning, and that's how a lot of gamers, you know, learn. A lot of gamers are far more intelligent than people give credit for, you know. They know a lot about history, they know a lot about science, they know a lot about a lot of different things, but what people don't realize is they learned a lot of it through video games, because a lot of these video games also will make historical references or make references to deep things. For instance, the Bioshock series makes references to objectivism. You know, gamers, when they hear that, they go and then they Wikipedia, and then they're learning history, and they're learning different views of the world, but it's not a classroom setting, it's a real life setting, and I think that's why these kind of things are far more powerful. The classroom I was taught was kind of where you go and, you know, quote unquote, please the adults and do the schoolwork. What these kind of games like Little Big Plant can do is you can take, you know, knowledge that you learn, especially stuff that's like science, technology, engineering, and math. And it's not just something to regurgitate on a test anymore. It's something that you can take, and if you know just a little bit more, you can go in these games that have realistic physics and create really awesome things and then get feedback from a community, and it becomes part of your entertainment life. It becomes part of your online persona. It's not just something you're regurgitating anymore. And even beyond that, you know, like, and just in general with the science on it, because I remember, for instance, when I was in school, you know, when we were learning about cells, like... Most of the stuff was just like, oh, I'll remember it for a week for the test. But one thing that always stuck with me is that they talked about mitochondria, and it was at around the same time that the video game Parasite Eve came out, which had a story that involves like mitochondria, and they went into these deep explanations inside Parasite Eve. And then I saw how something that's kind of boring in a textbook could be repurposed and made exciting in a game because then you have a little bit of fantasy overlapping with a little bit of reality for something that's really riveting. And I think that that it, personal experience I had can be extrapolated with games like Little Big Planet to cover a lot of topics. And I remember when I was in grade school, a lot of the video games there were basically like math programs with a slight kind of Pac-Man-ish overlay that where the gameplay wasn't inherently tied to the learning. It was just that you got to play a little bit of the game as a reward for getting a certain score on the computer test, basically. Where a lot, the approach now is, is that people realize that you learn through play. That I mean, it's something that, you know, talk to biologists and they'll tell you that every animal species out there, when they have like cubs or whatever, the, the play is not just because it, they're cubs or whatever, it's an actual active form of learning. And when, the more people have realized it, the more they realize if you can integrate real things like science, technology, engineering, and math into learning, you get better memorization because people aren't remembering it to regurgitate it later. They're remembering it because it was it has a positive attachment to it, a positive reinforcement. People still, you know, they don't realize the potential yet, and I think that this shows the potential that not only of video games as a teaching tool, but the reality that a lot of people don't grasp is that they tell you, you know, once you graduate high school, you're in the real world. 
what they don't realize is the real world is about constant learning and what we should be doing in our schools is getting people on this idea that every day should be a learning experience every day you should be able to encounter new stuff and not only just learn it for the sake of having it in your head but learning it and taking that knowledge and putting it to work for you and to work for others around you and I believe that that's what the digital media learning competition is all about taking what we've learned as little big planet and sport creators and putting it to work giving people amazing experiences where they learned something they didn't know yesterday Thank you.